welcome back to Photoshop. This is Asa Spigzo with Touching Academy. Okay, if you struggle with uneven skin color, rough texture, or spending too much time retouching skin in Photoshop, this video is for you. Today, I'm giving you the best frequency separation action for skin retouching, and the best part is it's completely free. This action helps you separate skin texture and color cleanly fix blotchy tone and achieve smooth professional skin without destroying the details now stay till the end because i'll show you how it works how to use it and the download link is waiting for you in the description let's go right into the tutorial all right so the action is perfect for portrait photographers retouchers creative we want clean natural skin without stress all right enough of um the talk so a lot of people don't know what frequency separation is well frequency separation allow you to edit skin color and texture separately texture stay sharp color becomes even giving you natural eye hand retouching retouch and what makes this action special wow yeah so it's a light benefits it's clean texture separation fix uneven skin tone saves time beginner friendly and non-destructive workflow all right so now how to use the action first of all you need to get it inside of photoshop so this is how you know you open up photoshop if you cannot see your action panel this is my action panels i've not had it yet and this is the um, default that follows photoshop so um if you want if you don't have this panel and you want to bring it out like i said it's just for you to come to this one at this panel right here okay and you're gonna see action come to windows action you're gonna bring up the actions and if you click this button it's gonna hide so not right now it's not right here so um you can you no know, download this frequency separation action for free the download link is in the description and also leave simple instruction there so you don't get confused now once you get it you come right here click on you know load actions and you navigate to where these actions are so i'm going to go to where and navigate to where it is so this is it advanced frequency separation action okay so i'm going to click load and it's added to heat so now now let's apply it okay so this is what i'm going to do i'm just going to click on it let's duplicate the layer first Control j so we can um see our before and after oh it doesn't really matter anyway so just click on the action and you're going to click continue so it's actually going to give you a message now let's wait for the action to play so it's fixing and we're waiting so it's still working still working still working All right, so a message will pop up. He said, use this paint here layer to edit only the skin tones and not affect the texture. And I'm just gonna show you what that means right away. So just click on continue. And now this is what it means. It says on this layer, this one that says ill clone texture, you're gonna use the this either heal spot healing brush or healing brush, or you use the clone stamp to, to work on that layer while for this one you're going to use the mixer tool brush for it and make sure your setting is like this 975 90 100 you already know and make sure this is off and only this is on so that's for that that's the setting you just need to do and now this one you're going to use the brush because that's where you're going to correct the skin color so let's quickly apply and the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to remove all these you know uh blemishes so i'm going to come to this layer come to this layer then click on this make it smaller and i'm just gonna just click on these 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 and make sure they are gone skin part and like I said you're gonna use the mixer tool brush on that so just make the brush smaller and make sure you paint 
you can just you know do it i'm just gonna do this fast and just get a smooth blend all over the skin but the colors are looking different right yeah that's the part i want to show you so a lot of people don't know how to make the skin tones even you can see the color of the neck and the the body looking different and even the face looking different and if you want to make all of them look the same it's this is the best frequency separation that can do that and a lot of time people do that manually and but this one you don't need to so it says skin tones if you check here you're gonna see paint here skin tones now once you click on paint here skin tones change the brush to brush tool and this is how you're gonna use it the 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 the, the, the um, surprising thing is amazing thing is it's not even changed to any of the blending mode it's just on normal and it works like magic all right so it's out about in sample the place you want to correct so let me say i want the skin to look like the neck do you get i'm just going to sample that click on it it's sampled and i'm going to paint over where i want the color to be so if you're not seeing let's increase a little bit 27 yep so you can see that that color it's blending with everything take a look at what's going on okay so um i'm just showing you how you can apply it quickly so let's reduce to 10. yep let's just leave it at 11. i'm going to sample again and start painting and you see the skin tones becoming even just take a look at that make it smaller I want to remove the red. So let's see on and ha. So let's see before and after. Before and after. Before and after. Can you see how amazing the result is? So now how the skin looks smooth. The skin looks smooth but still realistic. No plastic skin. So you can actually use this. It's the best you can use out there.